All right. What's good, everybody? We got Hades versus Chunga. Very interesting matchup. A matchup that I think a lot of people should see because um, a lot of people think that Chunga beats Hades just because she has like the versatility, the ability to escape his ult with her too, things like that. But this is uh, this is definitely a, a winning matchup for Hades. It's a close-ish one though, maybe like 55 Hades favor or something. Hopefully, I can pull it off for you guys to uh, to demonstrate. But I do not have the best Hades. Luckily, I, I don't think Zving has the best Chunga, though. Zving a very, very good player, very good Masters player. But I think his Chunga was only like level one or something, so maybe he's not gonna be, you know, like if you out if if a Chunga really outplays the Hades, she can win it, right? But um, if they're playing at like an even skill level, uh, what I'm trying to say is that the Hades will uh, will generally win that matchup. So we have the initial clear over her, real easily. A lot of damage racked up. I'm not going to be able to kill her, but look how much poke we got. And she is so low in mana already. Yeah, maybe, honestly, it might be better than 55 or so. It could be It could be 60, it could be even more. Uh, I just feel like if the Chunga plays it decently, she won't get, like, farmed by the Hades. So it, it could make it, like, semi-decent. Whoops. Oh, I hate this game, man. We keep getting fucking servers keep getting DDoS like every second of the day, man. Jesus. And I'm still in, though? Did it say I left the game? No. Apparently, I'm still in. We're doing it, guys. So this is clearly how Hades wins the matchup, by the way. He forces the Chunga out of DC. And then... In his natural environment, pushes for free. Unopposed. See, Jax is Jack speaks the truth, yo. Jack speaks the truth. It's a it's a close matchup. I think it really is. Hey back. Okay. Let me mute for a second because I got bagel. Okay, think we're back here. Not sure how Zving's doing, but he's at obviously a disadvantage. He would have been at a, a pretty uh, big deficit regardless, but this is you know this is something that uh, obviously completely unaccounted for server fucking mishaps over and over again today, over and over again recently. It's just shit bags uh, taking advantage. Um, of the fact though that high res really does not seem to have uh, really uh, strong uh, answers to this at all, right? Like obviously it takes like the entire day just to try to rid the world of these fuckboys that are DDoSing or whatever. Um, and you know, that that allows them to, um, to really get a, uh, uh, to really get a lot out of fucking DDoSing them, unfortunately. So I wish that there was more that uh, that could be done to prevent this stuff. Um, and I don't know the answer because I'm not tech savvy in the least bit. But that was a pretty... I don't know about that ult. I mean, it's going to stop me from, from pushing a little bit. But no, I'll probably still get the tower here. Oh, yeah. Oops, I didn't do that. I pressed a different button, dude. He's saving for his two here. I, th I think he has enough, right? He does. Motherfucker. Alright, I just know I didn't press that button. Just know that, you guys. Uh, but here's the big issue, is that he can push like this, and Chungan really can't answer. Can't answer for it at all. DC or not. 
uh, that tower would have gone down so so quickly. The the question is, you know, whether the Chunga can remain safe enough uh, to uh, to make that lead just like negligible. You know, a tower down and a lot of uh, uh, small gold in favor of the Hades is not. It's not, you know, uh, anything too dire. So I'm up like 600 gold here, and it's really also uh, part of it went to a pot. He had a pot too, though. So actually, it's about 600 gold flat. And um, I mean, it, what's it really going to amount to? We have to see. I'm gonna go Thoth, and the thing is, I feel like the Hades should be able to be aggressive enough that with this Thoth here, um, and I could have gotten the Thoth way earlier, and I should have, but I was uh, more taking advantage of uh, of that early tower push, and I'm grateful for it, grateful for it, but, you know, uh, maybe I could have pressured even harder if I uh, had gotten that Thoth first. Nice ulti, I figured it was going to come right there. I should have waited to fear, I think. Yeah, he's dead here, I believe. Yeah, because ulti's up in two. Oh man, I shouldn't have moved. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. No, we got him. All right, very good, very good. So as you can see there, I mean, his answer, he, he just doesn't have the burst to return to me while I have something like a Thoth online. So that early lead really amounted in so much there for me. Like, what does he have? He has a Soul Trap compared to my Finish Thoth. And the damage spike from, from the Finish Thoth, unstacked, uh, you know, even uh, stacked or not, rather, is what I mean, uh, is just so strong. It's such uh, a significant difference. And you could see it there. He was kiting and still just didn't have enough damage, whereas I was, uh, you know, even missing a little bit and still had so much burst that he couldn't answer for. And at this level, his sustain isn't great enough to uh, to answer for it. What's up, M General? How you doing, man? I'm gonna stick around and take this blue buff from it as well, right? For some cooldowns. I'm not sure if I want to go straight into cooldown boots or pen boots here. I guess I'll go cooldown. Uh, and then rush into a uh, obsidian so that I have like a ton of tower poke right now But at this level with her thaw finish now, it's gonna be hard to uh, to get much uh, uh, much structure damage off because you know the uh, The waves are gonna be easily cleaned up by her one and three combo So she has a reliable uh, You know a reliable way of stalling me Damn, I really thought he was going to move forward there earlier, but did not. Alright, that's his two down. He moves forward. Oh, yeah, yeah, he moved forward. This is rough for him. He's going to go down, most likely. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Uh, so he he tried to clear there. Issue was that he really could not. Um, I guess he thought that he was right on the outside, misjudged it, and uh, obviously got punished super, super hard. So the, the thing is, though, if he didn't give me that option, would I have been able to capitalize much? And I mean, he had used his uh, his 1 and 3 already. There was quite a little bit of the wave left, so I would have gotten a decent amount of Phoenix Poke, especially with early Thoth plus um, uh, Spell Focus or, you know, Obsidian Shard finished here. It, it just gives you so much at this level that I think, um, honestly, it, it would have been a little too much for him to answer for, but we'll have to see. I'm going to go the Big Dick Pernus build because... Uh, I think it's going to be super effective in a situation like this where you're just trying to snowball. Um, this is, you know, uh, Pernus will generally go this on Hades because he has so much health already and so much like natural beefiness to him that going these kinds of builds really uh, don't hinder him. In fact, they uh, allow him to snowball ridiculously hard. What's up, Nivea? Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. My auto is just doing so much right now, so he doesn't want to trade at all. And look, see, the amount of damage we get in is pretty significant. Alright, now here's the issue, right? He got a shit ton of damage off on us. Will this be enough? No. Okay, we're dead. Whoops. My B. My B. I think we're dead no matter what we do here. Maybe not. No. Alright, hype. Hype. 
Ah, damn. Alright, but now we're dead. Shouldn't have done that. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Should have done that. That's okay. I got really greedy for it. I, was like, I really wanted it, man. I really wanted it. I'll go into some defense after the, um, after the restored artifact now, so I'll, I'll start rushing, uh, something like a bulwark. Um, I shouldn't have dashed. Like, I could have probably gotten it with autos. Uh, silly. Your middle tower is under attack. So we, uh, lose a grip of a little bit of our lead there, and he's probably gonna go get the left side red, which is, um, you know, unfortunate to lose. You always want to level your fear after the three with Hades. One, because um, you're one uh, in this situation. You don't want it to auto-clear the wave. The less it clears of the wave, the more you have to heal off of. So you got to factor that in. And then also, though, the fear actually does uh, increase quite significantly from one second to two seconds. So it doubles the, uh, the amount of that fear. Uh, and fear is such a strong uh, form of CC. It allows Hades to get in a lot more damage during it. Also uh, decreases the cooldown quite significantly, which is really, really big. Yeah, like I said, that was definitely sloppy. I mean, it did not need to die there, but he went for a pestilence to try to like bridge the gap here. I know he's looking for the ulti. See how much we get off of just that fear. Kind of crazy. I know he's looking for the ulti, so if I use my one here correctly, I might be able to dodge it. Full heal almost right off of that wave. Pretty crazy. A lot of damage off with autos here. Is this up? Yeah, it is. Wow. All right, so go take this. Uh, having the purple on Hades is really strong here because, as I said, uh, the amount of uh, autos that you can uh, pile in between those fears and uh, onto the Phoenix each wave is just very, very strong. Uh, it's it's going to make a huge difference uh, in push potential for you. You know, a lot of damage to us because we don't have uh, defense yet. So we're gonna go back and uh, and get some right now. Um, so the vamp child would get us what this right now. Yeah. Don't really need po uh, potions here much because Hades has so much natural sustain, especially with with defense online. You know, MP5. Uh, that he gets from the Thoth and such, it's, you know, he's pretty uh, self-sustaining in both uh, mana and health. Got the Thoth fully stacked up. Um, and the thing is, we, we just out-damage her very, very uh, strongly late game. We have a very nice gold lead, uh, a little over a thousand. And she just can't contest your damage late. The thing is, though, can she kite you long enough to uh, sustain back up, uh, or heal back up, you know, and... Um, and make it irrelevant that you have more initial burst. Yeah, that's huge damage. Just off of that fear and your three, you know, that's no ultimate use or anything. Waiting to see if she uses her ult. Ah, I should be fine here because huge heal. Actually, a little bit, a little bit less than I thought, right? Because he does have the pestilence, so that was a smart, uh, smart choice. He has to put his body to the wave, so you want to get ready to fear him right now and get that damage off. Got his beads out too, very nice. And with our uh, cooldowns here, we're just going to be able to sustain back up off of each wave uh, before he can really answer. So, oh, so close! God damn. See if he looks for like an ulti here. Nah, it's not up yet, I guess. He doesn't have full cooldown. But that Pestilence, uh, I think was actually a smart pickup. I think it's doing a uh, considerable amount of work because I should be healing up for a lot more than I am. Yahoo! Yo, Yahoo! Extreme, man. Thank you so much, Extreme. I love you, dude. 18 months, what a god. 18 months, man. One of the longest running subs by far. I love you, man. I can't believe it's been that long already. And so happy to have you as uh, such a great friend, Extreme. Thank you, dude. 
Uh, Why not Pestilence here? Basically, the the Bulwark is is kind of the the better late game item here. Um, and a big big factor is also that she's sitting under Phoenix, so I can't really uh, apply the Pestilence that well because she's healing usually outside of its range. Unless I'm like diving the Phoenix, it's not going to be too uh, uh, too useful for me. If she was like trying to engage and trying to contest more, I could definitely argue getting it. But for now, I think uh, the the just going the full bulwark works out well. Yahoo! Yo, Iron Reaper, thank you for the eight months, man. Thank you so much. Big love and chat for Iron Reaper and Extreme, you guys. Thanks so much, Iron. If we catch her here. Ugh. Oh. I'm gonna go for Polly uh, last item here, and it's gonna give a shit ton of uh, of poke. Mm, it's hot. Let's go get that purple. She wants to contest. You're gonna ulti it. Oh wow, I'm mad. That's her two down. She's gonna have to beads here, which is great. Oh, missed it. Oh, I hate that. Man, we're dead. Maybe not, maybe not. Go, go, go. Alright, very good. So we both made ridiculous misplays there. He missed his ult, and I'm, I dove uh, while missing my three, so that was really harmful. <laughs> Fuck. Um, but the big difference here is uh, Polly on uh, on Hades, a lot of people don't understand, is incredibly potent because it uh, allows him to, um, to confirm an auto after each fear, right? He confirms the next auto, so assuming that's going to be your Polly shot, which, you know, it more than likely is because you spread your abilities out so much with Hades, you don't really spam them. Um, that fear shot into Polly just does so much, uh, and it's guaranteed the auto because, you know, it draws them near you as long as you auto before the, the, uh, fear. So it's really, really strong, and it also, you know, it's confirmed damage onto the, uh, onto the structure as well. So very, very, um, potent, uh, to have. Here already you can see we're, we're really laying into the, uh, the Phoenix. He's definitely going to look for an ulti. And if we bait it out well, we can, uh, ooh, close. Uh, we can use our one to dodge it, and that would be the dream. Uh, but he's been using it right as we three, so we haven't really had that option. So shout out to him for, you know, uh, recognizing that if I'm in the animation for my three, I can't really do much to contest that. This could be bad for him. Ah, oh, I called it wrong. Fuck. I really thought he was going to keep going that way. He did not. Son of a bitch. Oh, got him just out of that, man. Right out of the uh, the heal. He really, really wanted to get that one off there because it would have killed me. It's the difference in that. And that's the big, uh, a huge, huge deal with Hades as well is that the, the uh, fear not only, you know, um, what's it called? Disrupts the enemy um, for that set amount of time, but it also comes out so quickly that he can get it out before anyone's, uh, nearly anyone's abilities uh, come out, right? Hardly any ability is faster than that fear. It's so instantaneous. Um, and a lot of gods, such as like Ymir, get completely fucked by that because anytime Ymir wants to.